you wonder what I do, you think, oh, she has nothing to do, she doesn't work. Yes, no, I have a ton to do. This is our journey. Welcome to the Betancourt's Homestead. So my husband tells me that the uh, foxgloves have taken over the lower part of the garden. And I thought it was just time for a tour. So I have only been down here once this year. I have hostas that are growing. I kind of need to rescue them a little bit. Um, I definitely need to come down and spend a couple hours weeding. My Siberian irises are doing beautifully. Whoa, those are huge Siberian irises. Nice. The fig tree I propagated from a brown turkey fig. They don't, brown turkey figs are not the best ones to plant for the Oregon coast where I live, but um, they're doing, mag it's doing magnificent. This is its second year. The black raspberries are doing really good. This is a wisteria, a white wisteria, and it's doing cute. There are some um, more black raspberries. And obviously, looks like I've got blackberries growing up in the, in the way. This is another fig that I have um, propagated at the same exact time I propagated the one back there. <laughs> there are tomato plants in here. There's lovage right down there. Um, up, and those are good raspberries right there, red raspberries. And a ton of foxgloves. Oh my gosh. This is a red currant. It is doing amazing. It loves that, that area, obviously. Stepping over, stepping over. Um, oh, look, we have red raspberries. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, let's just grab them now while we're here. That one, that one. Oops, I dropped one. Oh. Looks like somebody has been... Oh, nope, I got them all. There's the tomato plant that I had planted there. It's the only thing here that's not doing well. The olive tree is doing amazing. That is just gorgeous. Let's see, we have hosta growing in the under understory. And we have currants that are starting to ripen. Look at that beautiful color. Gorgeous color. And we have foxgloves literally growing in the middle of the currants. I'm just leaving them because it's beautiful. And they're just complementing each other. And olive tree, another one. It's doing great. It looks like it's going to want to have olives this year. Hosta. Another tomato in the background. The ferns. These are the ferns and the foxgloves. And a lot of the stuff on the ground cover is native. And I leave as much native as I can. And then we'll just look over. Oh, looks like that tomato is trying over there. And there's some more hosta. Yeah. Our picnic table that we built. And another olive tree. Lots of weeds, but of course the weeds will disintegrate. We'll get lower and lower. And look at the bench. That is a pretty spot. More ferns. And this is a te this is all temporary. This is a red elderberry and it will go away in a couple years as soon as this is what he was concerned about, his pomegranate tree. And I think his pomegranate tree is doing beautiful. He was concerned because it was so so tiny. Um, it's actually one of the few things we got from Stark Brothers that we were not happy with. But, um, so pomegranate and persimmon. This is persimmon. Pomegranate is around the corner. He was concerned that it was so tiny that it, um, it needed to be free and clear. I'm, on the other hand, thinking it needs to be covered and sheltered. And we have an artichoke. That's good news. Now there's another artichoke over there. And if I'm seeing it correctly, the persimmon tree 
Looks like it's doing rather well. I can barely, yeah, it's right over there. It does need to be rescued a little bit. He is right on that. Let's walk through here. I haven't been through this side. We have our crab apple tree, which is doing good. More Siberian iris. The rose is coming back nicely. It actually died. Blueberries look like they may be ripening. Looking at ripening, they look gorgeous. Up. Oh. So daisy marguerites doing cute. They're getting ready to bloom. I grafted a whole bunch of apple trees just to see if they would take. This one is Liberty and Honeycrisp, and it's doing beautiful. And there's Comfrey that kind of grew, and then it falls all over the ground to create this amazing mulch that will mulch into the ground and put potassium into the ground. Um, just awesome. Here's some more blueberries. And let's see what else we've got. Oh, a big... I gotta get rid of that the thistle. He is not very nice. Another, that's a pear tree that we just passed out under and more Siberian irises. Man, they just love this area here. And another blueberry. This apple does not look like it's liking life right now. Um, I think it's, it's a, it's a pear. It's a plum, excuse me. It doesn't look like it's like liking life. We will check into it. Sage, acacia berry, and blueberry, another apple tree, and we have another acacia berry down there, and yeah, so I wonder if the chickens would like the, oop, so this is the acacia berry, really hard, it's just going to be a, um, So maybe at some point in time I will be able to get the camera out to actually show you <laughs> what it looks like. It looks like it's nothing. What I want is for it to look like a uh, forest of um, that, you know, doesn't have anything in it. I want it to look like a mess. Chick, 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 oh, didn't make it quite right. Chick, chick, chick. And the mosquitoes are out. They'll come and get them. It rained a lot this morning, so we are just going to go back in and finish editing. I think I'll just put this up right now just because you kind of want to see something. Like, it's a mess. These are all the other trees that are waiting for an area to plant. We have not gotten as far this year as we wanted to get, but you know what? It is a process. There, see? They all come, they all come running. They're all like, she gave us three. That's all we got. We want more. Yeah. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you for watching. What you have just seen is a video that I filmed in 2020 or 2021 when I didn't have adequate internet access to upload a file of that size. I have now recently gone through and I am editing all of the prior videos because I still continue to film even though I didn't have access. There was hope. And I am editing them and going to be releasing them quite consistently to catch you up. However, if you don't want the back of anything and you just want to start with right now, that's going to be Saturday. All the videos that are released on Saturday are going to be ones that I've done within a day, a week, or whatever. So, stick with me on Saturdays if you just want current videos. Come and watch the, along the way if you want everything that occurred. I'll try to put them in nice little categories so you don't have to hunt and peck for what you want. Uh, but I would really appreciate it if you like the content to like and subscribe. So you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.